Samsung, proud sponsor of Techbusters. Hi there, my name is Zaki Anastasiu and I cannot tell you the location we're at at the moment because it's top secret from a security point of view. But we're at the head office of Brown's Jewelry, a company that has been in existence since 1934. Three generations of the Brown family have been making fine jewelry all these decades. And today, the technology has changed how they make jewelry. It's no longer just bashing away. Well, I suppose there's a bit of that as well. But today they use highly sophisticated technology and computers and 3D printers. That's what they're using to make it today. And it's not that it's changed the design or the creativity of the industry, but it's just allowed them to make jewelry a lot faster. So join me as we find out how technology has impacted the jewelry industry and how it's making their job a lot easier. In 1934, talented goldsmith Jack Friedman opened a boutique jewelry store in downtown Johannesburg. The business grew and the trade was passed down the generations. Now, after almost 80 years and with Jack's grandsons Larry and Gavin at the helm, Brown's Jewelers is a company that embraces new technologies equally as much as it does the old flair and craftsmanship of jewellery making. Larry, you must have seen some very interesting trends develop in the last couple of years. I mean, when your grandfather started this business in the 1930s, they didn't have all this fancy technology and computers they have today. How has that all changed and how has that changed your business, the technology behind the art of jewellery making? Yeah, they were very skilled craftsmen in those days, but uh, they had to hammer and melt and smelt and do all sorts of things. It took a hell of a long time uh, to make a good piece of jewellery. And so what the technology has allowed us to do is to make better jewellery in a shorter period of time. And uh, we haven't lost the craftsmanship. The craftsmen are still very, very necessary. We've just added to all of that. So it's quite a complicated process when you design a ring or a piece of jewellery. It's not just a matter of walking into the store and saying, I want something with diamonds, I want something to be flashy or something to be like this. There's a lot of design that goes into it and a lot of technology that goes into the whole process of making a fine piece of jewellery. Albert Marie is the head of production here at Brown's Jewellers and the industry is changed quite a bit. I mean, you didn't have things like 3D printers in the past. There weren't things like computers and CAD in the past. So what happens in this room that we're in at the moment? Okay, we uh, start off with a, a manual design, which we then convert into a 3D design. So it's like virtual space, uh, where these guys sculpt the item, uh, make sure that the required stones would fit and the piece would match the finger size and all the dimensions required. And how, mu how much time has been saved with this technology that's been used today? I think at least 90%. As quick as, as much as that? Correct. So it goes from this design process into designing something that looks like this. And this is kind of a, a, a 3D emulation of what's been created by the CAD drawings. This right? is a three-dimensional printout that is directly linked to what we've designed on the computer. And that can go into our manufacturing process. So from this machine, up to the production team to the finished product of that beautiful ring or the beautiful pendant that someone is going to wear one day. The designs are manufactured overnight using 3D printers and then made into molds. Because they're plastic, they easily melt away, allowing even the most intricate detail to be cast in the metal of choice. Now these might not look like rings just yet, but this is where the old school skills and craftsmanship come into play, with some modern day help of course. So, we've seen the design process start from a raw format. You've walked into the jewellery store, you've told them that I want my ring to look like this. These guys at Brown's Jewellery have started designing it, they've created a prototype, and it's kind of started the moulding process, because remember, the platinum or the gold has already kind of been set and melted, and these are the guys that actually set the diamonds. So this is where the, the, the artistic side of the whole creation of the ring comes through, right? Albert? Correct. This is where design could be made or broken. Um, these guys work according to the detail of what was captured in the CAD apartment. So look at this form. Uh -huh. So now, this goldsmith, but you're not, they're not called goldsmiths anymore. No, right? we call them setters. So the setter has to set the diamonds according to what this diagram says over here. Correct. How difficult is this? This is quite a skilled process still. So we started off with digital sculpting, but we still have to complete that sculpting in a final piece. So this is where it kind of culminates to. This is where the final production takes place. Correct. Fantastic.
Each piece requires hours of work, with some known to need several hundred hours of labor to complete. While technology has definitely made the process much faster, and who knows what we might see in future, no machine to date has been able to match the extraordinary level of skills required of master craftsmen. So this technology has allowed you to be more creative in making jewelry today? We certainly can be a lot more creative. We can A, spend a lot more time, but also work in a lot more detail with, with, the, with the technology. So you can imagine just to make fine jewelry would have taken a hell of a long time. We can do it a lot better and a lot easier now. Wow, that was really interesting. And the technology that goes into making a ring or a beautiful piece of jewelry like this, think twice next time you propose to someone or you're being proposed to, because there's a lot of work and an incredible amount of technology that goes into making something like this. But I've got it all worked out. Will you marry me, please? You've got to be kidding. Jeez, it's tough being a man in today's world.